Right. To put it in the immortal words of Jake and Elwood Blues, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are so glad to see so many of you lovely people here tonight. Right, right here, I represent Effective Evolutions. We're a pretty new and very young game maker studio from Berlin. Our game is U55. It's a survival horror game, uh, which is based on, <laughs> which is based on the works on H.P. Lovecraft. It's uh, set in a modern-day Berlin setting, and it's a 3D adventure. That's uh, that's a poster which was created for uh, our cooperation with the Cthulhu RPG magazine, Cthulhu's Ruf. Um, um, yeah. When Lorenzo asked me to give you some, some coverage regarding our game, I thought about, well, people around here tonight wouldn't like a sales pitch, so I thought otherwise. I thought that I would tell you in a couple of minutes why our game is unlike all other presentations which present their games as really awesome. I will say, no, our game isn't. And now that's <laughs> how I will attempt to make you all go go away and not back us on Kickstarter. So, like, like most other game c companies prefer to make clear that they are awesome, and I say no. I'd like to prove we're actually not. First, we're doing that Kickstarter thing. I mean, you just now. Also, so how about some some. <laughs> How, oh, okay, some actual artwork from from the game. Just just have a look at it. I think it just looks like Warsaw Straße at, at Saturday <laughs> evening or something. So so it's not fictional or 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 else. Uh, besides, I brought a trailer with me, but watching a horror game trailer without sound doesn't make much sense. So. All people are all people are highly welcome to to come after the presentations and uh, take a look at the trailer with some some headphones. I'd be glad to present it. So back to the topic. First, we're doing this Kickstarter thing. I mean, this thing alone sucks because <laughs> that alone should disqualify us from being like a serious contender. All people who have done Kickstarter before will probably know what I'm talking about. It stands for lots of stress, for very, very little money. It grants you all levels of complete insecurity, which you can only dream of. Mm -hmm. And you get to read hilarious mails like um, backers like Joey from Wisconsin writing you, will game work for GameCube? And you say, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joey from Wisconsin. <laughs> Just once again, that's that's why you create PDFs for the presentation. <laughs> uh, that, that, that helps you navigate easier, you know. Really. But yes, yeah, but then again, aren't just PDFs just for awesome people, and we aren't exactly really awesome. Well, okay. so uh, that's, that's actually that would go it fits go go well with that. All right. Um, and besides, only only very very poor game developers go to Kickstarters. And poor people are strange. I mean, just just look around. <laughs> so, the next thing is H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft was a very, very weird guy who couldn't write straight for a second. He was a really terrible author, and yet some kind, he's a phenomenon to some people who unfortunately are crazy because they live in the woods, they read books, and never would buy anything related to video games. Sound advice, please choose something more relatable to like Disney or Star Trek. Stay away from those difficult franchises, you know. The genre. We are doing a survival horror game. Means for adult people over 18. Come on, no one plays that kind of games anymore. There are very few good horror games which were made in the past. And it's a difficult genre. It's a difficult game design, so sound advice for that one, do a platformer or a puzzle game for Christ's sakes, or do a simple game for a mobile phone, not for Windows or Mac. They are somewhat more difficult. Next section. Our game uses binaural beats. 
that's the worst thing which can happen to you. <laughs> it's a psychoacoustic phenomenon which people cannot understand. Actually, it never has been used properly in a video game before. Um, but there are a lot of urban legends going on about it. You know, the Pokemon game back fro from the 90s with uh, stories about the Lavender Town Syndrome, which made little kids throwing themselves out of the window. That, that's what people usually connect with binaural beats. Sound advice here, go for something classic like mono sound or stereo sound. People can relate to that. Nothing fancy right now. Finally, Berlin as a setting? You gotta be kidding. It's so dull and so unimaginative. It has been featured in virtually every video game before. Besides, there are very, very few things around and about Berlin which are actually interesting, like architecture or cool locations or its history. Sound advice here, just stick to classic New York and destroy it one more time. It's never been done before. Thank you so much. So, so we, we have a couple, wait a second. Yeah, let's see this game because otherwise they're gonna fire nah. you because you haven't promoted the game. So you should promote it. <laughs> hey, come on, but, but I was honest to the people. Okay, okay, then I'm gonna do it for you. So, so U55, yes, U55, uh, it's easy to remember because it's the most useless uh, line in Berlin at the moment. So U55.eu, it's on Kickstarter. How is it going? Well, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Well, well I can't good. complain. Yeah, good, good, good. Ooh. And um, so if anyone here has like 80,000 euro, maybe? <laughs> or, well, that would be good. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, but it's, uh, it's pretty, it's good, it's good. I backed it. I backed of, of course, it. thanks. I only, only 20, but still, you see, thanks, I selected it. Yeah, you selected it. <laughs> and, uh, it's too steep, I don't know, but still good. And um, yes, did you want to say anything else? Um, actually, no. I think that I have been unnerving people for a pretty long time, and, yes. and that's it. I got some some flyers and stickers with me, but I would offer them a, l a little bit later, and that's our trailer. Yeah. But it it <laughs> would be better to be able to see it with full sound and with more with more with more things happening. Oh, we have the sound. Oh, we have the sound. Okay, we have sound. Yeah, fuck, I didn't know. They told me we didn't have. Now, who's failing me now? I know, I made that. Start at the beginning. No. Ah, come on. Yeah, you can. You can watch it online. You all have. Oh. <laughs> or you can watch it later on my PC. Yeah. But they're not gonna do it, so you have to use the opportunity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's the size of your team? Uh, right now we are around twenty guys. Okay. And how long have you been working on this? Three months. Mm -hmm. What tools? Wow. Uh, Unreal Engine 3. Wow. Are you a bus? No, unfortunately not. <laughs> really? Uh, because otherwise I wouldn't have the freedom to talk about the game like in this. the way I did before. <laughs> will, you be, will you be in the team tomorrow? We don't know. But uh, <laughs> not so sure, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and a, re a tentative release date is December of next year, right? Yeah. Yep. Which is kind of reasonable. If we get the sufficient funding, uh, just for the guys who uh, who might ask that tricky Kickstarter failure question, right now our momentum is so big that even if that campaign should not succeed, we will later move on seeking an, an investor in the startup business. Because right now the Sh effort... Ah, okay. Sorry, because? Uh, because the efforts and the amount of work and the network uh, and the feedback we're getting from people on Kickstarter uh, is actually much, much more than we have ever imagined. And that gives us uh, the security that, that this project has to be performed in, in, in any kind, kind of way, be it uh, crowdfunding uh, opportunity or being a video game publisher or just a sponsor who just wants to make some, some money with it. Then again, thank you very much for your interest. I'd be glad to answer some, some questions later, should yes. there be any. Thank you.